As I was leaving Iceland in mid-January, a few days ago, going to Canary Islands, uh, I spotted str uh, polar stratospheric cloud right above the cloud cover after the plane took off. Usually you can see them also from the ground in Iceland on clear cloud uh, days, especially in the morning or at the dusk, but here uh, we saw them above the clouds from the plane. They happen at very high altitude, usually 15,000 meters, 15 to 25,000 meters, which is 49,000 feet. And they are best observed during civil twilight when the sun is between 1 and 6 degrees below the horizon, as well as in winter and in more northerly latitudes like Iceland, Norway. Uh, one main type of polar stratospheric cloud is made up mostly of supercooled droplets of water and nitric acid and is implicated in the formation of ozone holes. The other main type consists of only ice crystals uh, which are not harmful. This type of polar stratospheric clouds is also referred as nacreous from nacre or the mother of pearl due to its iridescence. <coughs> stratospheric, the stratosphere is very dry unlike the troposphere and it really allows clouds to form in the extreme cold of the polar winter however stratospheric clouds of different types may form which are classified according to their physical state supercooled liquid or ice and chemical composition and due to their higher altitude in the curvature of the surface of Earth. Uh, these clouds will receive sunlight from below the horizon and reflect it to the ground, shining brightly well before dawn or after dusk. Uh, polar stratospheric clouds form at very low temperatures below minus 78 degrees Celsius. Those uh, temperatures can occur in the lower stratosphere in polar winter. In the Antarctic, temperatures below minus 88 degrees Celsius frequently cause type two of polar stratospheric clouds. Uh, such low temperatures are more rare in the Arctic. So enjoy the view. I wish you all the best. Greetings from Iceland. Be well.